Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. How are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, many time guest, the CEO of Suma Silver Corp, Galen McNamara. How are you doing today, Galen? Hey, hey, I'm great, Rich. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Excited to have you back on the show and get some updates on what's going on with your company. So Suma Silver Corp is a Canadian junior mineral exploration company with high-grade past producing properties in two prolific mining regions in America. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company and the two projects? Sure. So Suma Silver is a company that I actually co-founded back in March of 2020, if you remember, that was right when uh, the whole COVID crash was happening. Yes. Uh, yes. With, with, with a real focus on the Southwestern US and a real focus on these prolific and I'll say famous past producing, historically producing Wild West style mining districts. Uh, so we have two of those. The first one is in Nevada. We have the Eastern half of the historic Tonopah district. Uh, and the second one is in New Mexico where we have the historically producing muggy owned mining district. Now, the thing is, you know, both these projects, they haven't seen any modern exploration uh, since, you know, until we got, got there and started drilling. Uh, and since getting started, we've raised $23 million and have just been very diligently drilling away on, uh, on now both projects. Wow, congratulations on all those past successes and having a lot of cash on hand. $23 million is a good amount. And what sets Suma Silver apart from other gold and silver exploration companies working in those regions? You know, it, it's, it's funny, you know, first of all, silver projects are really hard to find. Yes. Uh, you know, second of all, a good silver project in a place like Nevada or in a place like New Mexico uh, is almost impossible to find. So, you know, the assets, I think, number one. Uh, and then number two is our, I'd say, our approach to discovery and how we go about you know, making new discoveries and finding more silver. And that uh, we have a very, very modern approach that uses all of the most cutting edge technologies um, geologically. And, and really that just helps us if we go back in time, the last time that these places were looked at was maybe a hundred years ago. Wow. So those guys back then just didn't have the modern tools that we have now. So, you know, that and modern thinking really allows us to, to stand on their shoulders um, to take the next big steps in both of these places. Galen, why are silver projects like yours so important right now? And why should investors be paying attention? Yeah, you know, well, silver is a really interesting metal and a really interesting commodity and in that there's just, in my mind, so many ways to make money. You know, the first is that this, this word that's just come into the, into the uh, you know, the popular, uh, you know, the popular attitude, say, right now, and that word is inflation. Yes. You look at what happened last month with the CPI, and there is a 6.1% year over year inflation rate. I mean, that I don't know about you, Rich, but that scares me. And I honestly believe that, you know, truly, that's probably underreported. It's probably, you know, at least anecdotally, from what I'm noticing and everything that I buy, you know, it feels a lot higher than 6.1%, you know, if you go back to last year. Uh, and, you know, the Fed is in a really hard spot right now where, you know, inflation, you know, it's it's running. They're trying to pretend it's not a problem, but that's quickly changing, you know, and then you've got debt levels that are extremely high. They keep saying they're going to taper, but they don't. So, you know, I think they're really being painted into a corner where inflation is going to be a, a very significant part of our lives for the next few years. So that's number one. Number two, silver is also uh, uh, an emerging ESG metal. And if you think about things like solar panels, you think about things like EVs, you know, some silver goes into each one of those things. And if we're looking at mainstream adoption of both EVs and things like solar panels, you know, in the next few years, we may need to double the silver production, um, which, which, you know, is, is very crazy to even imagine because, you know, where's all that production going to come from? You know, like I was saying earlier, uh, silver projects are really hard to find, you know, and, and I'm on the ground looking for them every day you know, all the time. And I tell you, they're really hard to find. So I don't know where that supply is going to come from. I think it's a perfect storm with that factor and the inflation factor that silver prices could be in for a very significant jump up. So you touched on a little bit, what are the benefits of mining in Nevada and New Mexico? Why those regions? 
Yeah. So starting with Nevada, you know, Nevada is actually the silver state. Uh, when you drive into Nevada, it says welcome to the silver state. Um, but bigger picture, even Nevada every year gets ranked in the top three by the Fraser Institute uh, as the best mining jurisdiction in the world. This year, it's number one. So right there, it doesn't get any better than Nevada. Uh, and then New Mexico uh, actually has very deep mining roots. There's two large open pit copper mines operating in New Mexico right now. Uh, but it just has this rich history that has never really been dug into significantly by too many groups. So it's the geological potential in New Mexico is very, very strong. And of course, it's like it's right in our backyards in the southwestern U.S., right? So both of those places for me are, are exciting places to work. Now, Summa Silver just completed a 10,000 meter 2021 drill program at the Hughes property in Tonopah, Nevada, and has already seen some impressive early results. Can you tell us a little bit about those results? Yeah, sure. So, you know, what we're finding when, we, when we're going into these old districts is that, of course, there's lots of juice left to squeeze, and there's even some, you know, low-hanging fruit. Uh, and what we're finding in Tonopah is that after we've done all of the geologic legwork, come up with the targeting and drill these targets, hey, we're finding some really high-grade results. You know, we've got we've got grades in excess of 10,000 grams per ton silver equivalent, which which is like percent silver stuff. It's, it's unheard of. It's wow. probably 20 times the average underground grade or, you know, or something like that for everywhere else in the world. Um, so that's the high grade nature of it. But even zooming out from that a little bit, you know, thinking about the whole property scale, we've drilled several targets on the property over, say, three and a half kilometers. Uh, and each one of those targets, we've hit grades in excess of a thousand grams per ton. So now we're at the point where, okay, well, we know we've got a lot of silver on our hands and we have to keep, keep drilling and keep working to try to wrap our hands around what could be left. The company also recently began a 15,000 meter drill program at its high grade silver gold Mogollon property in New Mexico. What can you tell us about these early results? Yeah. So, I mean, that's another interesting one. It's kind of like a double header here where we've got strong results from both projects. Now we haven't seen any assay results from the drill core. Uh, in New Mexico yet. But what I can tell you is that, I mean, we're hitting these veins in the first target area. I mean, the first hole that we drilled, we intersected a vein that was had, you know, over 50 meters, right? You know, that's extremely wide. I don't expect it all to run high grade by any means, but it just speaks to the strength of the system and, and really what we could be in for here going forward. Now, Summa Silver is led by a team of award-winning mining professionals with a ton of experience. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Something that, uh, you know what, I don't talk about often enough. So I'd say very high level where a, you know, a group of, of exploration geologists that are all in, at the, you know, in the middle of our careers, mid-career geologists that have cut our teeth and have had some, some pretty good success but are now hungry to, to keep finding more and to build on that. So just to summarize the people briefly, uh, some of the people, not all of them, uh, I'll start with our VP Exploration, Chris York. Uh, he's a guy that joined us from a major mining company about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, uh, where he was really responsible for implementing very large exploration programs, both at surface, but also as importantly, underground. Uh, in, in situations very similar to what we're drilling now, you know, vein, vein system, vein systems, not to get too far into the weeds. Uh, and he had some very, very good successes there. Uh, second guy I'll discuss is Chris Leslie. Uh, he works with me here in Vancouver. He's a geologist. Uh, and he was one of the guys that discovered the Blackwater deposit here in British Columbia. That's now uh, eight plus million ounces of gold in the proven and probable categories and, and probably significantly larger. Uh, next guy I'll mention is Garrett Ainsworth. Uh, he's had some, some very, very uh, strong success in the uranium field. Uh, he was the guy that discovered the original uh, uranium zones in the Western Athabasca Basin back in 2013 that led to all of fission and next gen and all those big deposits as well. Uh, and him and I worked together at next gen. Uh, and then finally myself, Galen, you know, I'm a geologist with about 15 years of experience. Before founding SUMA, I was managing the drilling in the field for next gen energy. Uh, and of course, we made some some very, very significant discoveries there as well. So one of the key things here at Rich TV Live and within our club at Rich Pigs Daily is we like to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. What should investors be watching out for from Summa Silver in 2022? Yeah. So you know what? Our motto in, 22, in 2022 is uh, license to drill. You know, nice. So we're at the phase now where we can really justify 
drilling a lot of holes. And if you look at classically on any exploration company, that's typically, you know, the phase in the cycle where you see a bunch of appreciation because you can really, investors will really start to understand um, how big deposits can get. So that's what we're going to do next year is just drill as many uh, high grade holes as we can. And, and, you know, I'm a geo. So just based on what I know and based on my experience, I anticipate that we're going to have some very strong results all through 2022. That sounds fantastic. And finally, how can investors get in touch with you? Yeah. Okay. So uh, at, I'll start with LinkedIn. You know, you can either get in touch with me on LinkedIn or at Suma Silver on LinkedIn. Uh, and then of course the company on Twitter at Suma Silver on Twitter or at Galen McNamara on LinkedIn. Uh, and then finally, our website is uh, sumasilver.com. Fantastic. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. In saying that, I do believe that metals are grossly undervalued. I believe that silver has been grossly undervalued all year. I believe that there is going to be a metals super cycle coming. I think that everyone needs to put Suma Silver Corp on their radar, on their watch list right now. The symbol in Canada, SSVR on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. In America, on the OTCQB Exchange, SSVRF. And I want to thank the CEO of Suma Silver Corp, Galen McNamara, for joining us today. Well, thanks very much, Rich. Thanks for having me on. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming back again sometime soon to talk about uh, more results. Yes. Anytime you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, I'd love to invite you back to the show. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for joining us again today, Galen. Continue on your journey of making this a huge success. We'll be watching very, very closely. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news. We interview the CEOs and we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.